Hey, I'm Jeff here from Clearly Coastal, and today we're going to do a tech talk. We're going to go over a couple different features on my Simrad chart plotter. So if you have a Simrad, you will find these helpful as well. We're going to go over how to plan and enter a route on there, and then also enter and edit waypoints. So let's go in and dive into it right now. Okay, so I know this is a really probably silly step to go over, but I'm going to go over it anyways. I feel like I work for IT with this. First thing you're going to do is power it on here. Okay, so you hold that button on the, the power button on the side right here. And then it's just going to take a few minutes for it to fire up here, and then we'll get into what you need to do next. Okay, so we got the warning screen. We're going to hit accept. So you can see my boat. I'm sitting in my driveway, so it's on land here. But we're going to do a route in the harbor here. So let's get going. So we'll just put a point here. That's not skid to get narrows. Okay, so we'll put a point in the middle of the harbor. Next thing you want to do is you want to hit these three tabs here. You're going to go to new and then route. So you're gonna tap there. So there's our start point. We'll go here, there's another one. And we'll go down to Casey Point. So there we go. So we got a route set planned here. I mean, it's pretty basic and pretty short. And then what you're gonna do, you're gonna hit save. Now you can name it whatever you like. We'll call this one Harbor, enter, and there you go. Okay, so now that it's saved, if you want to get started, you're going to go root, harbor, and so you can start where you want. So we'll start at the point there. We're going to go in forward. And now you can see, I'll zoom in here a bit. So it's telling us that we need to go from my driveway out to the point here, and then it'll start giving us directions. Okay, so let's say we're done with our route and we want to stop it or cancel it. We've changed our minds, whatever it might be. So in order to do that, go back to the three buttons on the top right. Now this navigation one was one that wasn't here before. Click on that and just simply hit cancel. And there you go. So it's turned the route off now and you're free to go wherever you like on the map. Um, or if you want to choose a new route, whatever it might be. So that's how you close that. Now let's go through another way that you can plan a route on this Simrad. Okay, so the second way that we can create a route, if you like going through more menus, we're going to go here to the main menu. Over here on your left, you have a whole bunch of different selections you can make. Now, routes will fall under waypoints. At the top, you see routes. So you can see the one we just created. Save there. It tells us how many legs there are, the total distance, and uh, all the information that you want there. So now we're going to create a new one through here. So we're going to hit New, Create on Chart. So I'm going to create one. Let's go out to Lucy Island. So I got the first one. Put another one there. Another one in here. And just keep creating. Now it's going to go over land. So you have to move them around if you like. And we'll cover that as well. All right, so we're moving that one around. Oh. Thought we wanted to move around. So, okay, there we go. So there's a route out to Lucy Island. Now we'll call this one Lucy. So there we go. So we got that one created here. Now, one nice thing we'll show you here is that uh, with if you create multiple routes, it's really nice and easy to find them through here. So we have our two routes we've created. We can pick one or two. So there we go. So we'll go back. Okay, so as you can see, we've got the two routes we created. So if you had a whole bunch of different routes planned on here, this would be an easier way to find them than scrolling around on your chart plotter. So if you want to start one, we just click it. We'll hit Lucy, start. We're going to go in forward because we're going to go from the harbor to Lucy. So as you can see now, it's got the route started and we could get going out to Lucy if we needed to use that. Okay, so there's a few other things you can notice on here. Um, as you can see right here, this is telling me that my boat needs to go hard to the starboard side to get over to the starting point of the route. And this is also here, this here is time to destination. So just because I'm not moving, it's having a hard time. It can't calculate how long it would take. But if you were moving and cruising, it's going to tell you how long it is until you get to your destination. So just like before, we want to cancel this, 
we go into the top three on the top right there. Navigation, cancel, and we're done. Okay, so that's two different ways that you're able to create a route on your Simrad plotter. Uh, if you know of another way, please feel free uh, to drop that in the comments and let people know because I'd be interested as well. Those are the two ways I've learned. Um, fairly straightforward, pretty easy. Um, great for organizing your different routes if you have different places you want to go or you have different places you frequently want to go. You can just enter them in there, boom, go. And then if you have autopilot, they will turn you along the ways. But just remember that you have to still pay attention out there. You can't rely on the autopilot. It's not going to see logs or wildlife, other boats, anything like that. So it is still on you to uh, pay attention and make sure that there's no obstacles in the way. And like I said, you can't rely on this for the safety aspect of it. It is going to get you where you need to go, but you're still ultimately in charge and responsible for your vessel. Okay, so now that we've covered off how to plan a route, I am now going to show you how we can uh, drop waypoints and edit the information on the waypoint so you can save it depending on if it's an anchorage, your favorite fishing spot, or anything else you might want to save on your chart plotter. So let's get into that now. Okay, so now we are back on our screen here. So in order to drop a waypoint, so you can either, if the boat is out cruising on the water, you can just uh, quickly do that by pressing this little button here. I call it like the Google map, little pin drop. But say there's somewhere else you want to go, so we'll pick right here. So that's an awesome fishing spot. You want to remember it for next time so you can come back. You know exactly where you nailed all the fish. So hit that button. Now it's going to come up with that. So it says waypoint 38 created. If I tap on that, I can great put don't tell anyone. I don't know if it'll give me enough. There we go. So that's my fishing spot. Don't tell anyone. Now you can also go in here. You have a bunch of different symbols that you can choose from. So like I said earlier, you know, if you want to go diving there, it's a boat launch, uh, it's a dangerous hazardous spot, anchorage, shipwreck, whatever you want. There's different options so you can remember what you want uh, to mark it as. You can also enter some notes so you can put best fishing ever hit enter, you go on there, you can enter depth, you can put a whole bunch of different things. You can change the color of the fish or the different icon that you want. Um, and it's gonna give you all that information. So that's how you get a waypoint in there, super simple. You can also hit go to, so it's gonna create, do you wanna save changes? Yes. So now it's gonna give me a great, uh, sorry, it's gonna give me a direct route to that waypoint. Um, as I mentioned before, you can see I'm on my driveway. Um, but if that, pretend that's water, that's a straight waypoint over there. We're 1.14 nautical miles away, GPS location, and the heading that you're going to want to take. So that's waypoints really quickly. Super easy, but a nice function in order so that you can save information um, and you're not relying on your memory because uh, as I get older, it's not being as reliable. So hopefully you find that helpful as well. Okay, so there is one other way to create a waypoint as well. It's very similar to the routes. So I'm just going to Put the cursor anywhere in the harbor here in Prince Rupert. Hit the top right here again. And then I'm going to go new, new waypoint. And here we go. So I can save it as Rupert. Enter. And again, now you have your options. Same symbols, colors. You can go more options like the previous one I showed you as well. So there's the two different ways. We'll just discard this one. So that's two different ways that you... You can create waypoints on your Simrad, very similar, like I said, to creating the routes as well. Super easy and user-friendly to create those points you want to save on your chart. Okay, so if we want to go look where we've entered all our waypoints, we can go back into this main screen. Again, find waypoints, and there it's going to list all your different waypoints uh, there uh, that you've entered on there. So you got your waypoint, you got your routes. I've cleared my screen here, but that's where you'd find them had you saved a whole bunch that you want to get to um, and pull back up in the future. One thing I should actually cover as well is uh, when we started the routes, you saw on here that it said to go in forward and reverse. Just to clarify, that doesn't mean you're going reverse in the boat. It just means are you starting at the end or the actual start of the route? So that's the difference with that there when it asks you for forward and reverse. So that was two different ways for us to enter waypoints as well as two different ways for us to enter routes on our Simrad chart plotters. Um, if you have any other ways that you know how to do that, that can make it easier, please drop a comment below. And uh, if you like the video, hit that like button. Remember to subscribe and we'll see you out on the water.